morning, it's Jeremy. It's Friday, March the 19th. I'm down at Toronto Harbour Front, just looking at the city. There's Toronto Island, Lake Ontario. It's a gorgeous day. What I wanted to do today is revisit a video I made last year about using the RTL SDR with AIS or for AIS. Here's the setup here. I've got my laptop. It's a Windows 10 laptop. There's the RTL there. It's the metal one. The metal one has a better frequency uh, correction. It's, it's quite low. It's got an SMA connect and I've just got a one meter whip antenna. That's a cable uh, going to the USB port. I find sticking this in the USB port, there's a tendency for it to bend. You don't want to break the port. And uh, there's the mouse. So what we're going to do today is we're going to look at AIS and we used AIS Deco as a decoder. And to get into it quickly, it's a command line utility. I've, um, I've created a desktop um, shortcut, which you can enter all the parameters into. So it's a quicker way of getting into uh, the AIS Deco. So I just want to show that. And there's a PDF um, in the file below here that you can download as well to show you how to do that. Okay, the first thing we want to do is we want to look, I'm using SDR uh, Sharp here. Uh, connected to the RTL. And the first thing I want to do is I want to see if there's any AIS traffic and look at the spectrum. So I'm looking here at AIS 87B, which is 161.975 megahertz. And uh, if there's any traffic, it looks like a burst of uh, data. It's GMFSK modulation. So you'll see a pop of energy there on that channel or AIS 88B, which is over here which is 162.025. So there's 88B. So let's just wait for a minute and see if there's any activity. It should be. There's lots of ships out there. Yeah, we just saw a burst of energy there. So there's stuff happening. Yeah. So the other thing I want to do is I want to calibrate uh, the uh, frequency correction here. So you can see the red line there. Let's go in here into the device. Right now I've got 10 parts per million correction. Let's go down to nine. Two's right on. Okay, so that's my calibration. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna go to the desktop. I'm gonna close this off. So uh, last year in the video, we looked at AIS Deco 2, which was a command line utility. What I've done here to make things easier is I've created a shortcut on the desktop. Um, let's look at that. So there's the property. So basically what happens with a shortcut is um, you locate the program that you want to use. I've put it in uh, AIS Deco. It's right next to the C drive. And that's the directory, AS Deco underscore Windows. There's the exe file. And right after that, I've added the parameters that we discussed last time. Uh, so that, when we said the frequency correction, I think it was just two. Let's change that. Okay. Uh, there's a PDF uh, down below the video here. It's an application note showing you how to do that. So that's just a quick way of getting um, the AIS Deco going. So let's apply that and we'll say, okay, so let's start that. So there we go. It's located the tuner. It's applied all those parameters. So now we can go into OpenCPN and see what's going on. Yeah, there's one target there. It's stationary. Probably one of those big boats. That's the MM. 3160184174. There's another one over here. Hard to pick out. So I've got two targets there. So, in any case, um, what I wanted to show in this particular video there was. The quick uh, implementation of AIS Deco, rather than going into a command window and entering the parameters, just enter it all into a shortcut and you can quickly get in there.